very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends. Namaste, hi, hello, Satsriya Gal, whatever ways there are to greet my most gentle and humble greetings to all of you. It's such an absolute joy and pleasure to be with all of you for our live sessions on the gram. It's been a while that we have interacted, discussed and had a conversation on this platform. My bad. I know that all of you are always such amazing friends with all of your love and your support. And I know that you're also always so eager to interact. But my bad, but I haven't been able to give this time. But such an absolute joy to be able to spend this time with all of you and be with all of you on this special day, the International Friendship Day. Once again, my deepest, sincerest, humblest gratitude for your love, for your support, for your incredible friendship and wish all of you a very happy International Friendship Day. Of course, the International Friendship Day is on the 30th of July and it's celebrated here in India on the first Sunday of the month of August, which is the next Sunday, which is the 7th of August. But we thought we would anyways do a live session today so people who are joining us from any part of the world can hear a little bit about friendship and the elements of friendship on this special day, the International Day for Friendship. So once again, wish you all a very happy Friendship Day and thank you all very much for joining. Uh, Nil Nila Groy, thank you for joining us from Kolkata. Mayur Marnani, Jai Shri Krishna to you, Samitra Soni Hare Krishna, uh, Pandya Prasad Mio uh, and I am Relief. Oh, thank you so much for joining here. Anubhav, so happy to have you as well. Desi and Vaibhav, Shantanu, Shivesh, so, so happy that you've joined us for this session this evening. A couple of uh, years back on the Friendship Day, one of my friends sent me a Friendship Day message. And you know how Friendship Day messages can be sometimes as well. And this Friendship Day was message was like in solid, hardcore, Bombaya Hindi. Now, for those of you who are well-versed with Bombaya Hindi, Bollywood, of course, has made us very well-versed with what Bombaya Hindi can be. But can be very rough language sometimes, Very sounds very gross at times. Like you could be saying, Apun bol re la hai na bro, ki apna abhi ye uh, case atke la hai, tumhara dimak sa atke la hai kya, hum to idhar bhatke la hai na, agar hum kuch karega nahi to humara life latke la hai. <laughs> very very sounds very gross you know but behind that rough behind that apparently gross language sometimes a very sweet intention and there's a very sweet heart very genuine heart uh, but la la language can be sometimes very very uh, strong as well you know uh, rough rather than calling it strong so this guy a friend of mine sent me a friendship day message in proper Bombay Hindi he wrote to me Apunki dosti bole to. Apunki dosti bole to. Apun ag to tu ghee. Like in the fire, say ag to tu ghee. Apun milk to tu tea. Apun janwar to tu chara. Apun asman to tu tara. Apun patang to tu manja. You know manja, the string. Apun patang to tu manja. Apun charas to tu ganja. <laughs> he's calling me ganja. I'm ganja, that's a different story, but he's calling me ganja. Apun patam to tu manja. Apun charas to tu ganja. Apun exam to tu chit. Apun munna to tu circuit. And he said, Wish you a very happy friendship day. He called me chara. He called me chit. He called me circuit. He called me ganja. <laughs> And then I thought to myself, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. The language may seem very rough, but the intention is that of a very sweet heart, a genuine intention of love and friendship. And sometimes you can have people who are very sophisticated in their expression, like wish you a very happy friendship day and stuff like that. Very, very sophisticated. And that's good too if the intention is right. But sometimes behind that sophistication, there can also be an intention of a hidden agenda. So the expression, whether it's gross, rough or sophisticated, doesn't matter. 
what really matters is the intention with which that wish comes at the end of the day it's the intention that we are putting out in the universe it's that intention we are sending out to our people it's in that intention that we are sending out to the people we love it's that intention that we are expressing to our friends and it's that intention that counts some people may express it in very rough and gross language and some people may express it in a very sophisticated refined language and how in what the medium of expression is a detail but the intention behind that expression is the principle so i really appreciated that wish a lot and i said to him wish you a happy friendship day as well <laughs> but i said to samne aayega na mujhe ganja bola hai <laughs> i'm going to take you for a task <laughs> oh but really truly relationships are so valuable and when we are talking about friendships and when we are talking about a happy friendship day it's not just that friendship exists between those friends friends like apparently friends friends friendship is the foundational premise friendship is the basis friendship is the fundamental requirement for any relationship between spouses any personal relationship between spouses the fundamental thing that must exist is friendship between parents and children the fundamental thing that must exist is friendship between a parent what we would call friends friends obviously the fundamental thing that must exist is friendship between uh, a boyfriend and a girlfriend the fundamental that thing must that must exist is friendship for any personal relationship the foundational principle the fundamental requirement the premise the bottom line is friendship and therefore it's very very crucial for us to understand who is that true friend kaun hota hai sachcha dost dosto hum sabko happy friendship day to bol hi dete hain lekin ye janna bhi bahut zyada zaruri hota hai ki sachcha dost kaun hai un sachche doston ko dhoondna hai agar wo sachche dost hai to unse aur deep connection banana hai agar nahi hai to un sachche doston ko dhoondna hai it's very crucial for us to understand what are those things that we need to look for in a genuine friendship whether it's between parents and children spouses and spouses friends and friends siblings doesn't matter this these principles apply to all relationships because friendship is meant to be a quality that should exist in all relationships for this evening i thought i would share with you a couple of my thoughts a couple of principles which are essential for good friendship this is what we need to look for when we talk about good friends this is what we need to look for when we talk about genuine friendship in cheezon ko dhoondna in cheezon ko dekhna doston mein bahut zyada zaruri hota hai stay with us as we discuss this three very important very crucial essential principles required for good friendship atharva thank you very much for joining us pranior smriti rajeshwari oh shatakshi nishamuktan bharat mahe gopro bangla oh thank you for joining us all the way from bangladesh shivam singh chavan nidhiman oh i'm so sorry that you lost your brother i'm so very sorry my prayers for your brother and his onward journey very very sorry about that uh, bumble be oh thank you you got my jokes <laughs> very grateful sabu ayer yes i hear i'm calling your name subu ayer ansh uh, neelam maharaj thank you very much uh, for joining us and stay with us as we discuss these three essential principles of good friends and friendships here's my first one i often say in prosperity your friends know you in adversity you know your friends when things are all going great 
you have all the money you have all the power you have everything that's required when things are all going great in times of prosperity your friends know you and these are called the fair weathered friends when the weather is fair everything's great when things are going great things are great we friend we're going to chill together we're going to hang out together we're going to go on a holiday we're going to go have a cup of coffee we're going to chat we're going to uh, talk on phone we're going to have a lot of whatsapp conversations we're going to do video calls fair weathered friends when things are all going great that's when people when people hang out with us they are called the fair weathered friends so in prosperity our friends know us but in adversity we know our friends when things are not going right when we lose what we have in life when we are at, when we hit the rock bottom in our life when things are all at odds with us in our life then it is at that time we actually know who our friends are whenever everything is going great we have the money the power the fame the everything's right in our life so when things are all going great people come to ask and ask us how are you but when things are not going that great and we lose things the same people come to us and ask us who are you kaise bhasha badal gayi sab acha chal raha tha how are you अब अच्छा नहीं है हु आर यू जब जेब में होते हैं पैसे तब लोग आकर पूछते हैं आप है कैसे लेकिन जब अपना हाल होता है कंगाल कोई नहीं आता पूछने के लिए कैसा है आपका हाल जब जेब में होते हैं पैसे तब सब लोग पूछते हैं आप है कैसे कोई नहीं पूछता कैसे है आपका हाल एंड देर फोर लेडीज एंड जेनमन इज इन इट अ फैक्ट सॉरी आई होप यू गाइज आर एबल टू हेयर मी सो पीपल आर कॉन्स्टेंटली कनेक्टेड नॉट टू अस बट टू अर प्रॉस्पेरिटी टू वॉट वी हैव नॉट टू हु वी आर मैं कई बार कहता हूं मैं 26 साल से ये काम कर रहा हूं दोस्तों 26 सिक्स ईयर्स आई बिन टॉकिंग 26 सिक्स ईयर्स आई बिन स्पीकिंग कोई नहीं आया मेरे पास कोई नहीं आया फोटो खिंचाने सेल्फी लेने कोई नहीं आया अपना हालचाल पूछने आज सब लोग आ जाते हैं तो लोग मेरे से दोस्ती कर रहे हैं कि मेरे वक्त से दोस्ती कर रहे हैं मुझसे तो दोस्ती नहीं कर रहे हैं they not making friends with me they making friends with my good times mere waqt se dosti kar rahe hain kal ko ye waqt badal jayega aur waqt to badal sakta hai na dosto waqt hai na kal ka kuch waqt tha aaj ka kuch waqt hai kal aur koi waqt hoga we had a good time yesterday probably the good times are good today times may not be the same tomorrow so when people are connecting to me or people are connecting to my good time जो मेरे वक्त से दोस्ती कर रहे हैं दोस्तों अच्छे दोस्त वो है जो वक्त से नहीं मुझसे दोस्ती करते हैं गुड फ्रेंड्स आर दो डू नॉट कनेक्ट टू माई गुड और बैड टाइम्स दे कनेक्ट टू मी और इसलिए मैं कई बार कहता हूं दिस इज अ गुड वन आई लाइक दिस वन माई फेवरेट जिनके ना आते थे जवाब जिनके न आते थे जवाब उनके सलाम आने लगे जिनके न आते थे जवाब उनके सलाम आने लगे मेरा वक्त क्या बदला मेरे नीम के पेड़ पे आम आने लगे <laughs> लोग न जी कई बार हमसे नहीं हमारे वक्त से दोस्ती करते हैं So the first principle of knowing who a true friend is, whether the friendship is with parents or spouses, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what your relationship is. Friendship is fundamental to all relationship, and the thing to look for in that friendship is whether those people in that relationship are connecting to me, or they are connecting to what I have, or my time, or my work. Basically, अच्छे दोस्त वो होते हैं. 
जो हमेशा अपने साथ देते हैं कई बार मैं कहता हूं जो सुख में साथ देते हैं उन्हें रिश्ते कहते हैं लेकिन जो दुख में साथ देते हैं उन्हें फरिश्ते कहते हैं रिश्ते तो अच्छे होते हैं रिलेशनशिप गुड इज बट फरिश्ते द एंजल्स दो देर टू स्टे विद अस रिलेशनशिप देर फॉर आर लाइक इलेक्ट्रिक करंट द राइट कनेक्शन कैन लाइट अप आर लाइफ एंड द रॉन्ग कनेक्शन कैन गिव अस इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक्स द राइट कनेक्शन द राइट फरिश्त द राइट फ्रेंड्स द राइट रिलेशनशिप the right dosts who are not connecting to what i have or who what my waqt or my time but are connecting to me will be there for me regardless of good or bad times and will won't will not give me a shock because of being a wrong connection but will indeed light up my life aur aise logon ke liye to hum gaate hain na ye dosti hum nahi todenge तोड़ेंगे दम मगर तेरा साथ ना छोड़ेंगे ये दोस्ती हम नहीं छोड़ेंगे वी वोट गिव अप सच फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज दे आर नॉट फेयर वेदर फ्रेंड्स एंड देर फॉर लेडीज एंड जनरल डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑन दिस इंटरनेशनल फ्रेंडशिप डे एग्जामिन द लिस्ट ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड चेक आउट हु आर दोज फ्रेंड्स who connect to you not what you have or what you lost who connect to you not your good times or your bad times who connect to you not your ups or your downs who love you for who you are and who are there for you whether with good times or bad times they're always there by your side and if those friends happen to be on instagram right now in this comment at this comment in your comment and tag that friend saying thank you so much on this friendship day for being with with me through the ups and downs for being a friend not to my good times but to me for being a friend not to what i have or what i lost but to me tag your friends share this live session with them and let them know that their friendship has meant a lot to your life could be your mom could be your dad could be your teacher could be your guru could be your sibling could be your girlfriend could be your boyfriend could be your bff it could be anybody because friendship as i said earlier is the fundamental foundational requirement and premise of any relationship aur phir mujhe ganja bhi bola na no problem मुझे चारा भी बोला ना पहले हैप्पी फ्रेंडशिप डे मैसेज में नो प्रॉब्लम देखिए कभी कभी चारा गांजा बोलने वाले लोग कभी कभी भला बुरा कभी कह देने वाले लोग थोड़ा मजाक करने वाले लोग साथ में रहते हैं और कभी कभी वो लोग जो बहुत कुछ अच्छा बोल देते हैं रिस्पेक्ट भी करते हैं लेकिन जब जरूरत पड़ती है ना छोड़ के चले and that's when we sing dost dost na raha pyar pyar na raha zindagi pe dosto aitbar na raha <laughs> but thank you all very much again for staying with us for this live session somehow i'm not able to see the comments going up so i'm not able to give a shout out to you guys i don't know what's wrong here in my on my phone and instagram so anyways my shout out to all of you i would have given a shout out to many more but somehow this something stuck with my comments here and i'm unable to see this comments rolling up nevertheless thank you all very much again for joining and staying with us this is the second principle of looking this is the second principle that we need to look for in a good friendship in any relationship where friendship is a must obviously and the second principle is this like if i tell you uh mustard seed rye cumin seed jeera asafoetida hing uh, pepper uh, miri kali miri uh, salt namak uh, maybe tej patta i don't recall it in english i think bay leaf i think bay leaf what do you get of all of these things rye jeera hing uh, 
kali miri tej patta there's one thing in common with all of these they are spices and condiments seasoning agents common and there's a lot in difference amongst all of these as well they have played different roles they taste different they add different uh, flavors to the chok the seasoning the tadka that we make for our cooking if i say sa re ga pa pa dha ni sa do re mi fa so la ti do is one thing in common they are all musical notes but there's difference they are all a different tone they are all, all have a different sound if i say pink indigo blue green yellow black violet there's one thing in common they are all colors but there is a lot of difference and the difference is that each one has a different shade artists know how they can add all of the different colors and mix it all up to make a beautiful portrait or a painting or add value to your the different interior designing aspects of your home cooks know very well how when they can combine all of these spices condiments herbs to make a fantastic prep for us to taste music musicians composers know very well that how they can combine these seven notes and make beautiful beautiful songs and compositions musical compositions for us to listen to admire and adore so when we see all of these there is commonality something in common similarities but there is something different too and when we have relationships with people in our relationships with people there are going to be similarities and there are going to be differences and when we talk about good relationships when we talk about good friendships with people we need to learn the art of celebrating the similarities and respecting the differences dosto phir se ek baar batla raha hu we have to learn how to celebrate the similarities and respect the differences similarities there will be if we look for them and differences there will be we don't have to look for them we'll anyway see them similarities ko dhoondna padta hai differences to aise hi dikh jate hain aur jab dhoondenge similarities ko to usko celebrate karna chahiye aur jab dikh jate hain differences to un differences ko respect karna seekhna chahiye a good relationship a good friendship is about celebrating the similarities and respecting the differences ladies and gentlemen and and uh, even in my personal life i know i have i have some friends one friend in particular we have such stark differences like if we have this personality type analysis my personality type is an id his personality type is probably a cd very different personality types you know Uh, our likes and di- dislikes are very different our food choices are very different he is a little bit very strong and aggressive i'm probably a little bit softer a little bit gentler a little bit docile you know uh he he likes air condition he like doesn't like air conditioning i'm okay with air conditioning we are very different in how what we like what we dislike we are very different even in our personality types we are even different in our natures in fact if you just put it in one sentence our chemistry seems to be very different but i don't think i have a better friend than the sentiment i think he's my best friend i think i'm blessed blessed to have him as the best friend i've ever had in my life you know why because as much as we have all of these differences we've learned how to respect the differences that we have and we've learned how to celebrate the similarities and we have some strong similarities and the similarities is in our belief systems the similarity is in our value systems the similarity is in our strong desire to do good for the world a similarity is in our in our passion to create an impact similarity is in our in our burning drive to be able of to be able to be of some service to others to be able to be of some service to the world 
to make a difference, to bring that change, very strongly connected based on this similarities. So we have learned how to celebrate our similarities and respect our differences. In fact, we were traveling somewhere and we were going in a car and he just doesn't like the aircon in the car on. He likes to open the windows, roll down the windows. And I like the aircon to be on, but not so much because I want it cool, but because in Mumbai, the traffic and the smog and the pollution gets on to you. And because I speak, it can get onto my throat. Sometimes I get like a cough, irritation in the throat because of the smog and the pollution. So when I'm traveling in a car, I prefer my windows rolled up and the aircon on. And he prefers his windows rolled down and some natural breeze. He doesn't mind the pollution or the smog. He's okay with that. And guess what? When we are traveling together, he's, he often tends to tell me, why don't you roll up the window and turn the aircon on? And I tend to tell him, why don't you roll down the window? I'm okay. And the driver is like confused. Whether should I turn the air con or I should turn the air con off? Wherever there's a willingness to celebrate the similarities and respect the difference, differences, there's also, there is also a strong willingness to make adjustments. But there are times when I agree to his suggestion and roll up the window and turn the air con on. And there are times when I roll down the window for him and allow the natural peace to come in. But there are serious things when there is differences, not just in choices, likes and dislikes. It's not about the windows rolled down or the windows rolled up. It's not about the aircon being on or the aircon being off. It's not about whether you like pasta and pizza or you like dal and bath. It's not about that. Sometimes differences can be about strong opinions and ideologies. And in our friendships, in our relationships, this is a golden principle to remember. We do not have to be disrespectful and unkind to somebody because we disagree with them. We may disagree with people. We are different individuals. We have different mindsets. We have different upbringing. We come from different situations in life and it's all right to disagree. It's absolutely all right to disagree. Between parents and children, there can be disagreement. Between spouses, there can be disagreement. Between apparently friends, friends, there can be disagreements. Between siblings, there can be disagreements. Between colleagues at work, there can be disagreements. We can all have those disagreements. And just because there are differences in the way we think and we have those disagreements, we don't have to be unkind. We don't have to be disrespectful. We can respectfully disagree. We can respectfully challenge. We can respectfully debate. We can respectfully discuss. We can respectfully engage in a conversation. But today, disagreement is equal to dislike. Disagreement is equal to disrespect. If I don't agree with you, I don't like you. If I don't agree with you, I I don't uh, respect you. Basically, we think that everything should be similar for us, including our opinions. Not at all. Which is why the second principle that I want to share with all of you is Celebrate the similarities, ladies and gentlemen, and learn to respect the differences. The differences could be in your food choices, the respect the differences could be in your dressing choices, the differences could be in your sexual orientation, the differences could be in your religious and spiritual beliefs or disbeliefs, the differences could be in your philosophical opinions and and ideologies. वो उनके ओपिनियंस है हमारी दोस्ती उनके ओपिनियंस से नहीं है हमारा रिश्ता उनके ओपिनियंस से नहीं है हमारा रिश्ता उनके आइडियोलॉजी और फिलॉसफी नहीं की नहीं है हमारा रिश्ता उनसे है जब रिश्ता उनसे है तो इन डिसएग्रीमेंट्स को रिस्पेक्टफुली डील कर सकते हैं सिमिलैरिटीज को सेलिब्रेट कर सकते हैं और डिफरेंसेस को रिस्पेक्ट जरूर कर सकते हैं दोस्तों एंड देवर रिमेंबर दिस सेकंड प्रिंसिपल सेलिब्रेट द सिमिलैरिटीज एंड रिस्पेक्ट द डिफरेंसेस एनीबॉडी हु डज दैट टू यू इज अ जेन्युइन फ्रेंड एंड इफ यू डू एंड डू दैट टू अदर्स यू आर अ जेन्युइन फ्रेंड टू गुड फ्रेंडशिप इज नॉट दैट एवरीथिंग गोइंग टू बी फाइन एंड एवरीथिंग गोइंग टू बी सिमिलर and good friendship doesn't mean everything going to be different there will be certain aspects of our chemistry that 
really match in gel and there'll be certain aspects of chemistry like <laughs> completely 180 degrees apart, poles apart. So this is necessary. Similarities ko celebrate kare and differences ko respect kare. To disagree with someone, you don't have to be disrespectful. To be dis- disagree with someone, you don't have to be rude and arrogant. To, be, to disagree with someone, you don't have to be aggressive. You can be assertive, but not aggressive. So celebrate the similarities, respect the differences. Here's my last principle. The third principle for friendship. The third principle for a good relationship. And I'm going to tell you again, when we talk about friendship, we should have friendship between spouses and spouses. We should have friendship between the mother, the father, the child, and the child. We should have friendship between the siblings and the siblings. In every relationship, in every personal relationship, we should have friendship. और इसलिए तीनों प्रिंसिपल्स ये तीनों बातें जो मैं कह रहा हूं जो बता रहा हूं ये हमारे हर रिश्ते के लिए लागू होता है हर उस दोस्त के लिए वो दोस्त आपकी मां हो सकती है वो दोस्त आपके पिता हो सकता है आपके भाई हो सकता है वो दोस्त आपका दोस्त हो सकता है जिसको हम दोस्त दोस्त कहते हैं वो दोस्त आपका बॉयफ्रेंड गर्लफ्रेंड पति पत्नी कोई भी हो सकता है या हो सकती है ये रहा मेरा लास्ट प्रिंसिपल हियर्स माय लास्ट प्रिंसिपल फॉर this evening ladies and gentlemen uh give me a moment uh, okay yeah a good friendship a good relationship is one with the other person our friend our mother father whoever makes us feel extremely valued makes us feel important makes us feel appreciated in such a friendship in such a relationship it's not all about them it's about us and similarly when we treat others and when we relate to others it's not all about us it's about them how we make them feel valued appreciate it's mutual they need to make us feel important valued appreciated we need to make them feel valued appreciated important they need to make us feel worthy we need to make them feel worthy too and therefore i i often say this in context of managers and leaders but it's holds true for every relationship when i talk to managers i get that feeling that sense that they are important but when i talk to leaders i get this feeling this sense that i am important managers i'm not criticizing man i'm not saying everybody is like that just the role managers can create a feeling and sense of self importance others may not feel important their friend leaders do not impose that feeling of importance on others that they are important but they make the other person feel extremely important as well har rishte mein aisa lagav hona chahiye aisa depth hona chahiye aisa kaisi gehrai honi chahiye ki hum samne wale ko importance de samne wale ko aisa lage ki ye meri keemat karta hai ye meri keemat pehchanta hai dosto duniya mein hamari keemat pehchanne wale aur hamari keemat ki qadar karne wale उतने लोग नहीं होते जो हमारी कीमत की हमारे हुनर की हमारी कदर करे और हमें इम्पोर्टेंट वैल्यूड और अप्रिशिएटेड फील कराए वो सच्चे दोस्त होते हैं वो सच्चे रिश्ते होते हैं वरना दुनिया में तो सब लोग अकड़ के तो घूम ही रहे हैं अपने आप को इम्पोर्टेंट समझते हुए सबके दिमाग में अकड़ तो भरी हुई है ये सोचते हुए कि मैं इम्पोर्टेंट हूँ इसको क्या भाव देना है लेकिन दोस्तों इवॉल्ड ह्यूमन बींग्स आर अबाउट दोज हु मेक अदर्स फील इम्पॉर्टेंट इन देयर प्रेजेंस एंड आई एम जस्ट रिमाइंड ऑफ द स्टोरी नॉट एग्जैक्टली इन द कॉन्टेक्ट कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप बट आई सेड फ्रेंडशिप इज इन एनी रिलेशनशिप 
there's so much in the context of leadership but i i still can remember the story from this quote i is important but when i'm with leaders i get this sense of this feeling that i am important uh, apj abdul, abdul kalam sir the late president of india when he was at isro we know how how powerful a scientist and how powerful a, an incredibly inspiring human being he was so when abdul kalam sir was at isro there was a satellite being launched in the year 1979 it was in july of 1979 and when he was mean he was he was meant to launch the satellite several of his colleagues several of his the people in his team had a lot of reservations and overruling all of those reservations dr kalam went ahead with the launch of the satellite rather than being launched into space the satellite came down sinking into the bay of bengal it was a massive failure an embarrassing failure and everybody had told him that you shouldn't launch the satellite you're not ready for it there their reservations they had their apprehensions he anyways went ahead and now it was an embarrassing failure and he was really scared really really worried of how he would face the press but at that time the chairman mr satish dhawan he decided to go and meet the media and address the press and dr satish dhawan he came and he said regardless of what the failure has been i have complete faith in my team and i'm convinced beyond any doubt an absolute 200% that very soon they'll be successful in their endeavor of launching this particular satellite and in the month to come straight after in august dr kalam tried again and abdul sir kalam sir successfully launched the satellite this time Dr Satish Dhawan did not go to address the press or the media this time he sent Shri Abdul Kalam ji to go and do the press conference when it came to failures he was willing to own them though it wasn't his mistake and when it came to successes he was willing to push his team ahead and let them take the credit and let them take the glory And years later when dr kalam was remembering the story and he shared the story on so many occasions he said that was true leadership where he made us feel important he did not make us feel that he was important he made us feel that we were important he supported us through the failures and he allowed us to take the credits of the success making us feel that we did it and we were the ones who were important to me i cannot but help recollect one of my friends a very close friend whom i very very dearly miss today he was much older to me because when it comes to friendship age chemistry are secondary it's all of this fun principles that matter so much he lived in london he was probably about 15 18 20 years older to me I used to visit the Iskon community at the Bhakti Vedanta Manor in London. He was the president of the Bhakti Vedanta Manor. Shruti Dharma Prabhu, who was always so insistent that I write books, it was on his insistence that I wrote the book Life's Amazing Secrets, which all of you have so kindly and lovingly supported. And it's a it's an offering unto him. He was so much always pushing me to write. That man. he was such an amazing human being such an incredible leader and the best friend the best friend to whoever he met the best friend with whoever he was he was a genuine well-wisher really wanted to do good to others and which is why on so many occasions i witnessed him dealing with people in london whenever i used to travel to london and on every single occasion when he dealt with me we saw him encourage others i always saw him make others feel important i always saw him make others see the potential that they had 
to grow, to serve, to do good in the world. I always saw him value the contributions of others. I always saw him appreciate even the tiniest thing that somebody did for him, for his family, for the people in the community of his con there. He was that one individual who could just make anybody feel valued and important. When I remember when I used to go to London, one year I went for the Janmashtami festival at his con Bhaktivedanta Manor, London. And this is a very strong community of devotees of Krishna. And they used to celebrate in pop 70, 80,000 people would come for the Janmashtami celebration. The car park would be full and there would be all kinds of dramas and songs and darshans and kirtans and varieties of foodstuffs being sold and given out. And there were members of the community, hundreds and thousands of them, coming for months to prepare for the celebration, make it all ready for that day. And on the day, I was there one year, and Shruti Dharma Prabhu, I remember, it was late, it was about half eleven in the night. Me and him, we were walking all over the campus, the huge campus, going to each and every single individual who had been serving on that day of Janmashtami. And I saw him make everybody feel so important, so valued. I saw him make everybody feel that even the tiny bit that they were doing was so big and was so important and so valuable for that festival for the community. He left this world uh, in the year 2020. He left uh, because of cancer. I very dearly and truly miss again one of my best friends, although much older to me. He was definitely my mentor, my guide, one of my best friends. Uh, and I want to offer this friendship day discussion conversation to him in his memory. Uh, I know whenever I go back to London, it's been a while I haven't been to London. Uh, I know whenever I go back to London, it's not going to be the same again. Every single time for years, I traveled so many times to London. No matter what he had on his plate, no matter how busy he was, Shruti Dharma Prabhu, and my other friend, Pranabandhu Prabhu, who still lives in London, again, similar friend of mine, who look, makes me feel and others feel important, were there at the airport to receive me and were there at the airport to drop me whilst all three of us, or um, whoever else was accompanying me, would sit at the Nero Cafe, sipping a cup of decaffeinated cappuccino before I boarded my flight back to Mumbai. And therefore, my third principle, ladies and gentlemen, is good friends are those who are not consumed by a sense of self-importance. Good friends are those who want to make others feel important in their company, feel valued, feel appreciated. And guess what? When they make you feel important is a time when you feel extremely humbled. When somebody gives that sense of importance, values you, appreciates you, what springs out of our heart naturally is the feeling of gratitude and humility. Knowing well that they're probably seeing something more than what I have. And when people are consumed in a sense of self-importance and arrogance and it's all about them, what springs from our heart is rebellion, despise we don't like to be surrounded by that people so yes the last principle good friendship and doesn't matter what relationship that friendship is in husband and wife or partners or parent children siblings doesn't matter who friends doesn't matter who the last principle is this to make others feel important valued and appreciated and those are true friends who make us feel valued, important, and appreciated as well. And therefore, the three principles that are so very crucial and important are here for you this evening. Number one, who are those friends who we want to connect to and tag them in this live session? Of course, we appreciate all friends. 
of course we appreciate all the rishtas we want to appreciate the parishtas in particular kyunki unki dosti mere waqt se ya jo mere paas hai usse nahi hai unki dosti mujhse hai aise doston ko dhoonde agar aapke paas aise dost hai to un farishton ko aaj message kijiye ye tag kijiye ye video unke sath share kijiye aur unko boliye ki aapke zindagi mein aapki life mein wo kitna aapki zindagi ke aapke life ka wo kitna ahem hissa hai kitna ahem bhag hai such an important part of the life the second principle that we discussed another very crucial aspect as well as you need to learn to celebrate the similarities and respect the differences we don't have to be unkind we don't have to be arrogant we don't have to be rude we don't have to be disrespectful to disagree we can always disagree and yet be loving kind respectful because at the end of the day our relationship is not with their opinion or with the disagreement our relationship and friendship is with them so celebrate the similarities and respect the differences and last but not the least the third principle friendship and good relationships are about making others feel valued appreciated and important you do that to others and deeply connect with those people who do that to you and not just with people who are consumed by a sense of self importance and narcissistic self centeredness and therefore like i said in the beginning relationships are like electric currents guys if you find the right ones they can light up your life if you find the wrong ones they can give you massive shocks and then to correct the connections rectify the connections make those right connections and let those beautiful friendships those beautiful love, beautiful relationships light up your lives thank you all very much for being such good friends to me though i have not seen so many of you but i can feel the energy of friendship and love thank you all so much for lighting up my life and giving me this opportunity to help you in lighting up your lives as well i'm very very grateful for your friendship wishing all of you a very happy friendship day thank you all very much and wish you a great evening ahead sorry for not being able to give those shout outs today my comments have frozen and i'm not able to see them roll up so sorry again but a shout out to all of you i love you love you love all of you very much have a great evening ahead and a happy friendship day again thank you